Hi guys, welcome to a new video. This week I'll be showing off the Odonto Panera Denticulata Cogni. This is the outworld with a water dish and a honey dish with some fungus or mold growing around it, something I'll have to take care of. That on the corner is their garbage pile. Uh, this substrate that I'm using, it's a new one. It's not the best. It's quite uh, reactive to uh, the water, the honey, and the, the debris, the, the rest of the food that they, do, they don't consume. I, I'll have to take care of this later. I'm not really happy. And uh, here's the nest. It's, uh, it's a little bit unclear because with the, the temperatures have been dropping. So there's some condensation on the top uh, and let me zoom in I have one queen in this colony and uh, I think 15 workers something like that here's a larvae pupating at this moment small pile of eggs, fat juicy larvae, and uh, one pupae. I have been feeding them mealworms. I cut them into pieces and uh, the colony seems quite happy with it. Regarding this nest, uh, I will put a link for you guys on the description or on the one of the top corners of the video where you can see how to make these Petri dish nests uh, from another channel called uh, The Ant Network. I highly recommend you go check them out and subscribe. They have awesome content. Uh, so I'm using, I'm using their system right now. And uh, so let me zoom in again. And I will use this, um, this video to show you some feeding. So I've prepared, um, I've cut up some uh, mealworm. I like to use the the recently shed mealworms because their their skin is softer. It's easier for the ants to to consume, especially the larvae. So I'll just drop these pieces inside. And let's see how they react. I think they're a little bit agitated from the light. Oh, I didn't know I had two roaches there. What the hell? This is a surprise. Guess I'm feeding roaches, not ants. Like I was saying, I think they're a bit agitated with all the light and the vibration. That's why they, and probably the airflow, since uh, this outworld normally I keep them closed off with the lid, just to prevent any escapes or uh, sometimes I have some house spiders who like to nest on the corner of these enclosures and uh, once in a while they will snatch a worker which sucks so that's why I keep them closed and they seem interested fantastic another fail Uh, 
Uh, so here's, I don't know if you can see, this is the queen. While we wait for some action. I feed them every two or three days. And for now I've been just keeping to mealworms, sticking to mealworms. I... Before I used to give them roaches and baby crickets. Uh, but since I'll be going on holidays, I have to change their diet. Because this is what my helper will continue to feed them. So I don't want them to, to adapt while I'm gone. So I did the adaptation period already. Alright, I think I'll stop the video here, nothing to show, besides what I've shown you guys. Uh, I think we'll see this colony back again when I'm, when I'm back from holidays, and um, yeah. Regarding the weaver ant colony, uh, there's no further update, they continue to eat, uh, they continue to hunt but they have not weaved any other nest. And if they do, I will keep you posted. So thank you guys for watching. See you on the next week. Bye.